There was a very interesting article in Yahoo News at 5am this morning about Dorset Police issuing a warning to members of the public about using CCTV cameras to capture footage beyond the boundary of their property in order to prevent crime. Now I've done one or two videos on this in the past and indeed there was a court case which was actually more about harassment and things like that than it was the data protection, although data protection was part of it and there was a finding of breach of data protection laws within that case. I did a detailed breakdown of that case, which I will link in the description below, along with one or two others that I've done as well. So if you are thinking about using CCTV to prevent and to detect crime around the curtilage of your property, but outside of the bounds of your property, these are the things that you should probably consider. First of all, you should consider the scope that the CCTV is covering. In other words, if you've got a camera that is entirely pointing at your neighbor's garden, that is going to be more than is reasonably necessary for any legal purposes. So it's likely to be beyond the scope of data protection laws. You're likely to be in breach of those laws and I would advise against it. However, if you're just capturing the very slither of your neighbor's garden, because let's say, for example, you're trying to capture whether anyone's coming over the fence and you want to capture to those on CCTV, then provided that it is only just as much as is absolutely necessary for that purpose, then it's probably going to be okay. But then you should also consider whether you're capturing audio, because if it's capturing audio and it's close enough to your neighbor's garden, and let's say it will capture all of the spoken voice and conversations within your neighbor's garden, then that is likely to be beyond what is reasonably necessary as well, and that is likely to be in breach of data protection. But what about if your CCTV is, let's say, on the front of your property, like a ring doorbell, capturing the streets, the side roads, the driveway, and so on? Well, the same thought process and the same analysis is going to apply. In other words, you are going to only be able to capture what is necessary and have a legitimate basis for doing so. You won't automatically be breaking the law by capturing anything outside of the bounds of your property. You just need to be able to show that you've considered what you are capturing, that there is a lawful basis for it, it's justified, and one or two other things which I'm going to come back to. Now, first of all, speaking of data protection laws in and of themselves, broadly speaking, data protection is disapplied in terms of GDPR and so on if it is a wholly household activity, save for one or two exceptions, such as CCTV that is capturing or surveilling areas beyond the curtilage of your property. This doesn't mean you need to register as a data controller with the ICO, but you do become a data controller for the purposes of the data protection laws. That is because you are capturing people outside of the bounds of your property and they will be able to submit to you a data subject access request for copies of any footage that has captured them on your CCTV system. They can also request erasure of your system. They can also request that you don't capture them in the future, although this is going to be virtually impossible if you do have a justified reason for using the CCTV capturing areas outside of your property. So what's the solution to all of this? Well, as I say, you need to have an assessment of what is reasonably necessary and a lawful basis for capturing these areas outside of your property. If that is because there is a spate of crime in the area and you want to capture this on CCTV, then that's all well and good. Just make sure that you've documented your reasons for capturing that area. You've discussed it with any other people that might be affected by it that are coming and going from their properties. You should also put signs up to let other people know that you are recording CCTV in that scope of area. And also try to ensure that it's not capturing your neighbor coming in and out of their property because that might be more than is reasonably necessary and infringe upon their essential right to privacy within the bounds of their right to a private and family life. So as a general rule of thumb, if it is capturing your neighbor coming in and out of their property day in and day out, it's probably more than reasonably necessary. Unless, for example, you are in a block of flats or apartments and the only way to capture immediately outside of your door is necessarily going to capture someone else. But my suggestion in those situations would be to try to capture as little of it as possible, perhaps pointing downwards in front of your door so that it is just capturing your door and anyone that comes to your door. Now, courts have already considered when someone is captured coming to your door and ultimately 
decided that it isn't really a problem because somebody coming to your door should be expect to be captured in some form or another for your own home and security. Now just a brief word on the case that I was talking about which went to the county court and found against the owner of the CCTV. It wasn't simply that CCTV was being used. It was in part the very fact that CCTV was being used that was being used as a threat against the neighbour. For example, the threat to say that the car had been tampered with and that she was going to be reported because she was captured on CCTV. And in fact, at one stage, the defendant actually claimed that this had been sent to the police when in fact it hadn't. There was also a lot of discussion about the recording of audio, which again, as I mentioned earlier, was capturing audio, let's say conversations, across into the neighbor's garden, which was beyond the scope of what is reasonably necessary under data protection laws. So for that, he was also found to be in breach of data protection laws because it was capturing far more than was reasonably necessary. You should also consider whether or not the CCTV is capturing 24 seven, or whether it is motion activated, but that in itself has some issues because if, as I say, your neighbor is captured coming to and from their property and it's motion activated every time they come to and from their property, then you might be alerted to them coming and going, which again is infringing their privacy, which is likely to be beyond the scope of what is reasonable and necessary under data protection laws. So in summary to all of that, if someone is using CCTV to capture areas outside of their home for the purposes of crime detection and prevention, you're not automatically breaking the law, but you should give some close consideration to the area that's captured, when it's activated, what it records, where it is stored, for how long it is stored, and whether or not you are capturing audio and whether it's beyond what is reasonably necessary. Of course, all the other things such as discussing it with your neighbors, discussing anyone that is affected by it, they may well be supportive of it because crime might be a serious problem in the area. They may just not mind and be grateful to you for putting the security system in place but also consider whether or not it's recording audio and make sure you discuss that as well. So this area, like many others, is one where it is not absolutely definitive. There are lots of considerations to take into account. So I hope this has proved to be some use to you, but please do also watch the other videos linked in the description below if this area is of interest to you. And if it is useful, please remember to like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I publish videos every single day, so thank you for time and thank you for watching.